right? And I know that certain people, when they get fame really quick, it'll tear you apart, you up. And it's good to kind of have people, even if we're not, we not going to eat dinner together every night, do nothing, but I genuinely, you know, I'm a real nigga. And, I'm, and so we cool. We, I, maybe a year ago, I told my fans, like, yo, if you want a Lupe verse, I'll write it for you for 500 It'll be yours. You can't put it on Twitter. It's yours. Like, don't leak, do whatever, you know, it's yours. And Cuddy went on Twitter and was like, yo, Lupe, what you going to do with that money? I'm like, nigga, it's $500. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm thinking he joking. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what you, what you mean? What you, what you going to do with your money? Or The same thing I do with verses that I don't personalize for niggas. And he stopped tweeting at me, so I couldn't see what he was tweeting. And then I got, I caught wind of like, you just see all these Cuddy fans like, Lupe, da 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 And I look at what this nigga wrote, and he like, yo, Lupe trying to swindle his fans. I would never do my fans like that. That sound like some bull****. Sound like he trying to rob niggas to do all this stuff. And I, Barry's right there, my right hand to God, the first person I called Barry. I said, yo, give me the Cuddy number. If I see him, I'm knocking him. Because mm. I, I want to get to the bottom of what the you talking about. Mm -hmm. Because it's me. <laughs> The same nigga you went in complex and was like the only nigga, one of the only niggas who reached out to me genuinely and had love for me was Lupe, but now I'm some thief. Mm. Now I can't find you, right? Nobody knows who you bring are. up the fact like, nigga, you sold me clothes. <laughs> so like, I would always like hide in the stock room. Who did you hide from? So like, and this is, and this is funny, but no one's laughing about this, right? Lupe Fiasco came to the store one day. He was in the store, I was in the bag, and they was like, yo, Lupe's here. I was like, oh. Stay down the stairs, waited till you left. And I was like, yo, what you down here for? And I explained it to my dude, same way I explained it to you. I was like, yo, bro, if I get famous one day, right, I don't ever want this nigga saying, like, yo, you sold me clothes, you my son. You know what I'm saying? We can't have that. <laughs> like, this was my explanation. <laughs> and yo, bro, when you think about it, he hates me to this day. He hates me. So it's like, it's like I was right. I was on to something. I sensed something in the universe. You know, so this is like my, my plan at that time. You know, I was like totally hyper aware that something was going to happen for me. And, you know, I was just like, I can't have nobody making no diss record. Like, yeah, you rang me up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Later and bring up the fact like, nigga, you sold me clothes. <laughs> okay, so we have two rappers going at each other and it's Lupe Fiasco and it's Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi, he was signed to Good Music with Cudi West. And Lupe Fiasco is a legend who had the hit song Kick Push. And Lupe Fiasco is blaming Kid Cudi for stealing his whole style. And here's the thing, that is the truth. Because Kendrick Lamar and Kid Cudi, they came up under Lupe Fiasco. And they stole his whole style. And of course, Lupe Fiasco is going to be mad because they took his style and they made millions. They made even more money than himself. This is the reason why they're beefing right now. So, do you like Lupe Fiasco more or do you like Kid Cutty more? Let me know.